I would like to see the baby. Hey, everybody, and thanks for joining us on this special uh, unboxing edition of the Bad Batch podcast. Uh, so uh, our, our, I cannot do the, the uh, intros justice the way that our man Steven does, but uh, <laughs> our man Tech is on the call here, and he's going to be joining me. I'm Echo, and uh, we both received uh, yesterday the Hot Toys Echo one-sixth scale figure. And so we thought we'd get on a call real quick and uh, open this thing up and talk through it and see what we think. So I think as of right now, we both have the, uh, it's out of the cardboard shipper. We're ready to open the box and, and get into yep. this guy. Let's try it, man. I, I got to admit, I, I did take a peek. So, but I didn't take anything out. I mean, just even the artwork on the box is cool. Dude, this is you. This is like, you, you've, you've built I, this. That's what I'm, <laughs> so, I, I, it's funny. I don't know if it's just because, you know, I, I looked at, they recently released like the blogger photos like a week ago. And um, that's usually a sign that the shipping is imminent. And I swear they adjusted the head sculpt. And I feel like this version looks more like me than the prototype did. And that it's could so be good. just my, that could just be my own arrogance talking, but it, it looks so good. So. All right. So, so take it off. That's a poster too. I mean, these things, this, this is like worthy of framing. Yeah. Yeah. The artwork. And we get a good view of uh, Hunter, which I'm guessing is going to be the next one that ships. It should be. It got delayed because um, originally I had ordered it. I actually I actually said, you know, that's OK. I'll let this one go because these things are pricey and um, and they try to they try to, you know, you try to time it with the, the monthly payments. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way and you get hit with a nice, generous bill all of a sudden. I, I know. I know. And so I didn't want that to happen with Hunter, so I went ahead and canceled that. But I know John is waiting for his. Yes, and we'll do that. So yeah, the first thing that we both got to is the, there's this little compartment, and this has Echo's alternate arms. So I'm looking, not don't want to get ahead of myself, but it looks like the, the screwdriver arm, the one that we see him with, is the one that's attached to the figure. Um, but yeah, inside here, we've got some different attachments. So... Yeah, the first one I wanted to look at too was this. So this is very much <laughs> like a, a a bronze C3PO protocol droid arm from the elbow That's down. That's so rad. Now, I, I I don't even know if we took pictures with this or not. I actually have this arm for my costume. You've seen it. Um, I saw but, it. But we didn't take pictures of it, which is just ridiculous. We should have. I think we thought there would be more time. but um, So I actually have <laughs> this arm made that works over my... A screwdriver arm. So, and then there's a, there's another piece here. I don't know which one you're going for next, but it's got, it's yeah. the same arm minus the hand. And so this indicates that there's some attachments that come out of that forearm piece. Now this isn't anything that we've seen in the show. Um, I had, I will, I spoiler alert. I had heard that there was um, in season two that we would be seeing some of these alternate arms because the, uh, they wanted they wanted Echo to have a little more mobility and, and be able to interact with his other hand a little bit. So we'll see if that pans out. I'm guessing all these pieces are in his backpack, or you know, like, or they're oh, they're, they're they're in the Havoc Marauder, just hanging out in a storage locker. I, I hope so. So the <laughs> next the next arm I pulled out was this one that's like a hammer or a press or something. So meat meat tenderizer. Yeah, exactly, and it does it 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 pulls in and out. Oh. Dude, the um, details on these things are ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah. good, these artists. Now, the, uh, the last extra arm that we've got in here is, is this one, and it comes packaged up like this, but it actually articulates. And I, gosh, I'm terrified I'm going to mess this thing up. I know. I don't want um, to break it. It, it, oh, it, pop, it pops Sorry. apart. I don't know if there will be... <laughs> I don't know if there is like a rope or, but this appears to be like the Echo's equivalent of a grappling hook. Yeah. So, oh, these actually pivot um, out these little joints. Yeah, they do. Um, oh and my gosh! Fun fact: I I have both of these arms modeled up. I just haven't printed them, and they also fit onto the socket for my my arm. Of so course my, you do. My you arm, my the arm that I made. <laughs> um, detaches just below the elbow. So the elbow itself and the bicep is one, one assembly. And then I can twist, twist and take off the screwdriver and put these other pieces on and they all fit. This is going to hold so. my 
candy. So there you go. <laughs> Gotta have the, the Sour Patch Kids. Okay, so I uh, I pulled off the the main sheet that is covering Echo himself. And here we go. Let's see. So like all Hot Toys figures, we get a couple extra little elbow joints or ankle joints or th these little pieces. I assume they tend to come apart. Oh, man. There is an additional protocol droid hand separate from the one that was on his arm. Now I'm actually going to go back and look. I had seen pictures. So this arm, yeah, this hand actually comes off of the arm. I assume this one. Oh, I guess it's just a different, it's a different grip. So this one would hold a, a, the blaster, which is actually another piece that's right here. So, so you can swap it out with this arm. Blaster. Got it. Okay. So it comes off of this one and you can switch it with this hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now I've, I've seen. Yep. It does. I've seen screenshots that show that the arm extends in some fashion. I don't see how that works quite yet. I'm guessing there's maybe another piece that gets plugged in here to make that happen. I think it's in this little side. There's like a little side um, compartment. Yeah. See right next to uh, the figure. The yeah. Figure. So there's there's some pieces here. There's uh, there's antennas this, for his backpack. It, yep. And That's probably I'm guessing, what this piece is. I'm guessing this one. Yeah, exactly. So there's a piece here. This would be his extended arm. Let's see. That, if that makes works. sense. In fact, it does because when I pulled off his other hand. This goes here and there we go. It's such an inspector gadget thing to have this extendo arm. <laughs> well, I mean, how are you going to, how are you going to get your back? You know, that one spot, you know, I, know. I need to figure out how to make this work uh, so that I can. Dude. Uh, so yeah. So, um, that's so wild. The next piece I've got here is his backpack. Not as heavy as the one that we carry, but not know. even close. Um, no, this, <laughs> no apparent, no apparent mode of attachment. There's just some a little piece of foam on the back here. My guess is that it's magnetic, and uh, yeah. the antenna holes on the pack are keyed so that you can't put the antennas into the wrong slots. Ooh, this is taped. He's got these uh, plastic booties. So there's oh, the yeah, pack. you got them in there. Nice. And that's, and honest, I expect this is going to be the same pack that we get with your figure. Probably, mm -hmm. which I haven't seen up for sale yet. It's not even an I know. So while you're getting into Echo himself, so I'll pull this piece out. So this is the helmet off head. So it fits onto the head, the neck peg here. And there's not his creepy helmet. at all. No, not even close. So um, <laughs> he's got he's got his uh, Lobot cyborg headset on, and the sockets on the top of his head. And he's got the the pale skin that we're used to seeing. Uh, guy, this he's, he's been through some stuff. Man. I know he's seen some things. It doesn't look like this one has the articulated eyes that I've seen on some of the other figures, where you can actually like aim their eyes around. Really? Yeah. I'll be careful with this. I don't know. I got, I'm going to have to decide if I want to display him with the helmet on or uh, have him like holding it. Oh, under his arm. Yeah. Dude, this is you. I swear to God. I, cause I've seen you up in close in person. <laughs> this is straight up you. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, I mean, we've talked oh about it. My gosh. We've, we've talked about it on the show. So my armor, even though when we're all together, it's not a noticeable difference, but my armor is, um, based off of the realistic, this it's based off of this. So, yeah. um, in fact, I have been waiting patiently for this to arrive so that I can start the approval process with the Legion. Cause they said, well, since it's based on that, we need to have that in hand before we can get that going. So now that we've got him, uh, it's game on game on for sure. dude. Oh, this thing is so cool. So here he is. This bucket is amazing. All of it. The arm's got all the the details that we're familiar with. Yeah. Looks a lot like my microphone, hey? <laughs> I haven't taken the plast the plastic off the legs yet, but those look those look good. So cool the the little DC uh 
was 17 just sliding in. Yeah, it just it fits in there. It's got a nice little uh, nice little fit. And then let's test out this backpack and see if oh yeah, it's definitely magnet. Is it? Oh yeah, it's got some good grab too, so it's not going anywhere. So I magnets see rule the world. Yeah, I see he's got the same problem in real life that that I do, which is that the bottom of my backpack hits my thermal detonator. So I don't. I feel it, that that is now screen accurate dude, detail. It totally does because I remember I remember you were like slapping it on and it was it was lifted up just a tad bit because of the TD. Yep, I remember. Oh my gosh, I want to put these antennas on this helmet on this backpack. And it's cool because um, one antenna is for the backpack is shorter than the other, and uh, but it, but the way it's designed, you can't mess it up because the, the attachment pieces are made a certain way where you can yeah, there's it a, incorrectly. Each one has a unique shape to the notch, so. Yeah, man, they think of everything. Oh. oh yeah. Feels good. It snaps on there nice, <laughs> and, nice and satisfying. You know what's interesting is I remember looking at the other Sideshow characters, uh, the Wrecker and the Tech, when we were at Celebration, and the shoes are clone realistic, like from the movies, right? Or the realistic yeah. clones. You have coverings. You have almost like um, yes, Mandalorian, so Mandalorian armor over your... Yeah. Yeah. So I originally, I, I first started out with a pair of just the, the Crow Props animated style uh, echo boots that he had available at the time. That was all that was available. And I talked to him and, uh, he actually commissioned for me a set of, um, realistic clone boots with just a couple slight modifications in the bad batch gray material that he makes. So the ones that I wear now, um, match this and they look, they've got the realistic style. And then I just used some, uh, EVA foam because I, I was able to heat it up and then press it around the shoe and cut it to the right shape. So on mine, it, it was an easy way to make those little shoe spats. Nice. So some of the details that are a little unique on him. So on his, on his knees, for example, he's got the robotic legs. So on the animated version, uh, there's a notch cut out of the thigh piece for the knee to kind of fit up into, but on this realistic one, that's, that's not present. It's there on the, uh, sh the shin pieces, just not on the thigh. So that's do, one do of the differences. Knees, do, these knees articulate too. Like they, they, uh, they, they move, they're not part of the shin. They're, they're their own separate. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Mine are like that too. Wow. That's awesome. I have to get the toy to realize how your kit actually works. Maybe. <laughs> and, uh, one detail that's kind of hard to notice, but on his, his arm, the arm that you, where you can see his undersuit between the bicep and forearm, uh, there's like a, an extra panel that goes down the sleeve. And that actually goes back to the, the undersuit that we see him wearing at the end of the Bad Batch arc in the Clone Wars season seven. His undersuit had like paneling down the sides of the sleeves and legs and sides of the body. So the only place in the fully armored version where you see that is on his um, his, his arm by his elbow on his one arm. Um, okay. And then, and then in reality in the show, that undersuit around his abdomen matches what we see here. Now they produced this as a hard piece um, around his, his waist and, and sides here, but mine is fabric. So it's, yeah, but yeah. it's reinforced, it's reinforced fabric. So there's actually pieces of, uh, it's kind um, of firm, right? On that ab piece, right? There's, there the and there's foam pieces that are sewn into it so that it has all of these visible details that you see here on him, but without it being a hard armor piece. I was wondering when they, when they designed this, if they were going to have the feature, like where the helmet, you know, if the helmet is off, it's, it's detached from this low bot piece. Oh, good question. You know what I mean? It, yeah. Cause, cause it's on his head, on his head, obviously. Right. Yeah, well, but, but if the, the helmet is off, the head the is patch? the head is removable. So I'm gonna. I just you, you know what I'm on. asking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to say there was a screenshot. I want to say that one of the sample pictures on the sideshow site. It had it. It had oh. it. Not. It comes out. There it is. So there now is. the piece, the piece by itself, doesn't really look like anything. So if you had this out, he, theoretically, you've got the other head on and the piece is present there, but here is so the, when cut, the cutout on the helmet. 
Yeah. So when you're when you set it yours up as if he's holding it under his arm, it'll look appropriate because that piece is no longer attached. Yeah. That's so that's cool. that's awesome. It's great that they've got that kind of attention to detail with these things. Oh man. Details that we appreciate that maybe a lot of people wouldn't even think about, but all right, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put his human head on and then I'm gonna set the helmet in his arm, see if I can get a good pose out of him here. I'm terrible at posing these figures. <laughs> there's there's entire like page web pages and Facebook groups and YouTube channels dedicated to people posing their twelve inch. Which funny figures is the on. first time the first time I put on armor and uh, it was I was actually tech. I did a photo shoot with John and Brian and and uh, and Mark uh, Mark Edwards and I didn't know how to stand. I didn't know I didn't know how to pose and so they were telling me it was just, I just felt kind of silly, but then it, it translates to the photo. So it, there is a, there is a, an act to it or, or not an act, but there's a, there's a way to do it and a way not to do it. Oh, here's the stand. I was like, how does this, so this probably goes in his crutch. Yep. That's it. All right, I think I got his head on. Hopefully it stays that way. I'm just trying to force stuff in, but I probably shouldn't. I'll wait. I'll wait for that. I'm trying to speed through things because I'm excited. But <laughs> yeah, so let's take a look at the stand here. So it's got it's got this nice cover. So you can either have the stand just be plain, kind of looks like the floor of the Death Star, but then it's also got this that'll go on there too. So I'm, I'm guessing that each one will have its own unique uh, helmet shown on there. And I think as far as displaying him, I'm going to, for now, not get into the other arms because we haven't seen that yet. I'm trying to do the salute, maybe. The famous salute. Yes. I've got my uh, Hasbro figure sitting here in that position. Really? All right. Well, I just managed to pull off his hand. Let's see if there's another hand that's a better fit for. Eh, I hope I'm gonna keep this one on. I hope none of us die off, obviously, but I really hope that Echo never dies. <laughs> somebody and said some. Somebody said something that made me think about it, and I, I, I think I'd be okay with it. Um. You know, in, in Empire Strikes Back, which is obviously takes place after this point in the timeline, um, Echo Base. I know. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think that. they. I don't think they'd name it after him if after him if he was still alive. Now it could be complete coincidence, not named after him, but we'll see. Yeah, it could be. We can hope. All right, I got to clear some space on my desk here for a second. Man, this is so cool. That over here. I don't know if I'm ever going to put those other attachments. I'm glad I have them, but I like. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think I'm going to stick with the the look that we're familiar with until I mm -hmm. see what that see what else that should look like. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I now that it's out, so I have the other the the statue that we were talking about and just the size, right? I think this is like one sixth, which is sideshow and. These statues are like what one seven or something. I can't remember. I think they're one seventh. One seventh. Wow, big difference. You setting yours up for? Uh... I yeah, I'm trying to do the salute. So I think I'm close here. This will probably be a work in progress, but uh, let me see if I can get this up in front of the camera here. So, oh yeah, there he is. There he is, Hol holding his helmet too. Holding, holding the helmet as he would. That's rad. So I think for now this is this is as uh, complicated as I'm going to go with this. <laughs> Love it, man. 
Yeah, I mean, all in all, this is a great, great figure, lots of detail and a completely unique clone. You know, when we've got so many clones that are repaints of the same mold over and over again, we've got something here that's completely different. Um, you know, he's the first one from our, our uh, namesake show to, uh, to come out. So I'm excited. And hopefully yeah, this means I, think, I can get my costume going. Yeah, I, that, that should happen relatively quick, right? We hope. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, this has been fun to open it with you. It's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our, uh, that's our unboxing. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this guy. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll play with the pose here a little bit in the next few days and we'll see uh, we'll, if, if I come up with anything better, we'll talk about it on the show, but this looks cool. I'm looking forward to having him on display here in my office. So. Yeah. Once I have it displayed or uh, set up, I'm going to take a photo, a photo and I'll put, I'll, uh, I'll put on my story, my Instagram story. Just nice. Kind of. So be yeah. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Awesome. All right. Well, it was great catching up with you in the middle of the, uh, or I guess the sale end of the week here at tech and, uh, looking forward to seeing you next Wednesday night. And, uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and watching us, uh, play with our toys. See ya. Right. Thanks everyone. Bye.